Hey, how you doing there, boys and girls? Elton here. Yeah, it's uh, kind of nice, but it's mostly cloudy today. And boy, is it ever windy though. <sighs> kind of not looking forward to that, but it is still probably 20, 20 degrees Celsius. Today is the 6th of October, 2024. Let's take a walk here through my place before I show you said Omega painting I just literally finished a few minutes ago. Show you a few paintings I still have here available. Prices may be flexible, maybe not, depending on what it is. There you go. Still have the LTD painting. This is for people that actually have money, not people like me who are broke asses there, but there's the uh, the street scene painting I did a few months ago with a 65 Le Sabre. There's my old 65 Le Sabre right there with an ex-friend's Impala. There's the Christine, still here, surprisingly. I don't know why I guess only because it's so expensive to ship it anywho moving into my uh, workshop office here here it is there it is just finished it 77 Oldsmobile Omega kind of an obscure uh, make of the time of course which was a derivative of the Nova as was as I mentioned in the last video so was the Pontiac Le Mans Phoenix uh, not the Le Mans but the Phoenix the uh, uh, Buick Skylark and uh, yeah that's it it was uh, just a, a product of its time and oddly enough i think these were actually considered compact cars which is hard to believe but yeah they were and they were good gm dependable cars with engines like 305 or i think in that year 77 it might have been had the first year for the 231 uh v6 i think or maybe it was still a straight six optional i don't know anyway once again like my last painting i was happy to put my ass in gear and actually get this done uh more uh, quickly than than i usually usually i'm like seven days a full week or a bit more but no five days i think that's what it took and uh yeah it was it was fun to do because uh well not only because the car's got some classic krager mags on there with the bf goodrich tires but also because of the view the profile I like how the guy picked uh this particular view of the picture he sent me and actually come to think of it i can show you the picture Will you take this all in there while I get that? Uh, I can tell you that the picture I found is an old Dairy Queen from Van well, I said Vancouver. I don't know which Vancouver, Vancouver, BC, Vancouver, Washington. But I'm like, you know what? I don't know if my guy here I did this painting for likes Dairy Queen. So actually, I just personalized it for myself. Why don't I just do an Omega Diner, you know? See, like the sign looks kind of like rough, like it could be in in business or not in business. But, you know, let me just see here. There we go. I think that's as pretty as accurate as I could get it. I could get the car. Uh, looking at it now, yeah, I could have could have adjusted the real wheel well a little bit more. And I almost don't want to show you the, the the picture now. It's not obvious doing paintings of cars, even though I've been painting for many years and drawing my whole life. But look, here's the the uh, Omega right here. See. It's pretty much bang on. It's not 100% uh, accurate, but again, what is art? Art is an imit. It's you know what they call it, life imitating art, right? Or art imitating life, I should say. And that's what this is, especially considering. Hey, look, I'm I'm a visually impaired artist. I do things as well as I can. Plus, anyway, a guy could never complain because uh, if you see this, can as anybody knows, for now the price is to do a painting like that is 18 by 24 inches, 250 dollars, but it is subject to go up because now I'm becoming more and more in demand. I'm doing, uh, if you guys remember, you saw the video of my friend Brian's uncle's 57 Imperial crown. That's actually next. And that's going to be a big painting like like the rectangular one you saw in my living room earlier of the Trailer Park Boys uh, shitmobile. And that, even though he's a friend, like he's very generous. He's offered to pay what, what it's, the work is worth to do, not just because it's a larger canvas and it costs more, but... Yeah, so as it stands right now, but, you know, and then I got another customer, and I think I have another one maybe from New Hampshire. Uh, so I'll be coming in the next few weeks. Uh, and one of you guys also, I got to get back to sometime next week when I finish the Imperial painting. Uh, he's sent me an interesting picture. I didn't get it right away. At first, I thought he sent me a picture of, like, the instrument panel and windshield of a, a Citroën Type H, Tip Ash. Actually, then I looked at it closer. I'm like, no, that's a VW split window van from the 60s or, uh, or early 60s, 50s. So, yeah, there's lots of stuff to do, and I'm living the dream. Again, I'm still poor, but I love what I do, and that's really the bottom line, bottom line in life when you're an artist like me. I wish I had the, 
the the mental capacity to realize this years ago or maybe if i had been happier in my soul i guess i spent so many years tormented as a yeah as an artist uh as somebody who's bipolar autistic whatever so but hey you know at 48 years old better late than never you know it's just i guess taking me a longest time to find happiness i'm gonna give you a better perspective here in the light well, maybe it looks better here right yeah there you go so again if you'd like to have something uh, painted by myself that's hopefully older vintage and uh, or the theme of it is anyway uh, you can get in contact with me at Elton McFall at hotmail.com or you can find me on Facebook again this is you know again this is custom work so now I'm you know getting some more demand here regularly so I don't know whatever it is you want painted when it will be done I, I can't my god I've been working on this so many hours now my freaking shoulders hurting me <laughs> Ugh, too bad I can't paint from the right side of the brain eh with my right arm that would be nice wouldn't work out well so but again uh, uh thanks again to ken if you see this uh, and again thanks to scott it's because of my great friend scott ne uh, newstead's channel cold war motors and i did a painting of his 60 plymouth fury a few months ago and he showed it and that's how i got this this business uh and it's funny because this guy was i think the fourth uh, was the charm because i had three other people who saw that video and saw my artwork and they didn't they didn't do anything but there's two types of people in the world there's people who will actually pay for great work, like art, for example, because they get art, they love it, they understand the, like anything, the painstaking process of it. Like when I make my models, for example, like anybody who makes models, when you make things in great detail and great craftsmanship, and there's no cutting corners, it's going to, you know, it's cost money. To so some people, they think it's Mickey Mouse, you know, they're like, oh, it does not work $250, uh, I could do it myself, you know, all this bullshit, so... Yeah, there you go. And uh, you guys, thanks again for watching. Take care and stay tuned for great more content as usual in the transportation domain. Bye-bye. And be well.